are Bertie Cotton. Cause of death. Let's just say overwhelming physical trauma. <laughs> Bert was the local preacher before Max took over. Always was quick to remind us that we all get what we deserve in the end. Well, that's all three. I must remember to requisition some more fingerprint ink. Here's all the compensation you've earned, plus a bonus. You've done such a bang-up job hunting down our former workers that I thought it only proper to deputize you. Congratulations. Let me stop you there. It is official Spacer's Choice policy that all Marauders, regardless of prior affiliation to the Spacer's Choice brand, no longer qualify as our people. Marauders are folk who lost the will to keep working, wandered out into the wilds and gave into their baser instincts. Not everyone's cut out to work in Edgewater. Some turn deserter, some turn Marauder. None of them get my sympathy. Uh-huh. I recall young Eugene. Good kid. Nice smile. Fussy about his health, though. Took a little too much Adrena time. That'll do a number on your brain matter. Says so right on the warning label. Violent psychosis is a well-documented and legally accounted for side effect of Adrena time. What's on your mind? As long as your questions fall within the acceptable margins of curiosity. His likeness decorates many a wanted poster. Do you have any relevant information about this individual? Mm-hmm. Shot you into space. You know, lying to a Spacer's Choice constable is a violation of company policy and punishable by a fine. It is, for Spacer's Choice. Unfortunately, the arrest of Mr. Wells falls outside my authority. I enforce the company policy of Spacer's Choice in the region of Emerald Vale. Wells is wanted by the board. If you have information related to the location of Phineas V. Wells, you are required to submit that information to your nearest board authority. I represent Spacer's Choice. Spacer's Choice is a wholly owned subsidiary of Universal Defense Logistics, which is itself a member of the Halcyon Holdings Corporation Board. Okay. Also, I specialize in processing fingerprints, so unless you're carrying Wells' finger on you, there's not a lot I can do for you. Any information regarding outstanding bounties and wanted criminals should be directed to Mr. Udom Bedford. Mr. Bedford's office is located on the Groundbreaker. Halcyon's original colony ship, now repurposed into a space station. Mr. Udom Bedford represents the board's interest on the Groundbreaker. Something else I can do for you? Okay. En cuanto pueda, ah, aquí puedo bordear.
Vale. ¿Solo tenía que hacer eso? Trabajo fácil. Town's been dark a while now. Could be a mechanical trying to sabotage us. You beat that scout to scrap with its own legs? Pulled its optic cables out its headcase? Actually, don't tell me. Rather use my imagination. You're a passing fair soldier, I will confess. But you are one. And the enemy is legion. What you need is an equalizer. A weapon to strike fear in their cold, mechanical hearts. Cantina. Lavatory. Behind one of the toilets. That's where I've kept it hidden all these years. Sharp, ain't it? The lavatory is the very last place a mechanical has yeah, yeah, yeah. to enter. On the double soldier. Don't want the bartender poking around in there with a mop. Canary's dead. This is gonna throw a wrench into my actuarial tables. Oh, I'm an actuary. That means I keep tabs on a worker's living expenses. How much it costs to feed, clothe, shelter, bury, and replace your average human worker. Technically, I'm employed by the Spacer's Choice Department of Human Resources. seen you here before you a visitor welcome on behalf of the spacer's choice family let me welcome you to to uh where am i again Is that for you? what no i'm winslow lester winslow says so right on my permanent record no deberías estar trabajando I am in no condition to do any work. Not so long as my injuries trouble me. Te has lesionado. Yep. Got my mitt stuck in a rotor wheel. Shredded my wrist up real good. Conrad went and sewed up my hand, but I couldn't do much about the pain. Boss was real generous to me, though. Got myself a 5% discount on Zero G Brew. After the second bottle, the only pain I feel is emotional. Oh, está no. Suena a que necesitas un cirujano. Hey, Conrad's a surgeon. Well, he's a barber. That's like surgery, but for your hair. Te dejo al otro día. Power's gone. Law knows how long. Looking to get drunk? 
Oh, I almost forgot. I'm contractually obligated to recite company slogans to any visitors. We'll get you mostly drunk at half the price. Spacer's choice. So lo quería charlar. Go ahead. Hablas de tu pasado? I don't see how that's any of your business. No pretendo juzgarte, solo es curiosidad. You're the first to ask after me in some time. I'll give you that. But I don't have a story to share. My family's worked Spacer's Choice for two generations, and I've lived in Edgewater just about all my life. Wanted to work in the sciences once upon a time. Would you believe it? That was a wild fancy. Glad I disabused myself. What happened, you ask? What always happens when you're dreaming? I woke up. I just didn't have the brains for it. Asked too many questions. Wasn't suited to the work. So I did the right thing and worked the life I was always meant to live. Now that I'm behind a bar, I can ask all the questions I want. Important ones. Like when are you gonna pay your tab? And would you like another round of cold, refreshing zero G? Don't talk to me that way, please. Spent many years disabusing myself of that notion. Don't need you putting it back in my head. Hmm. Lab work ain't for me. Never was. Never will be. Spacer's Choice put me where I belong. And for that, I am grateful. What's wrong with that? It's good, honest work. Pots and pans don't scrub themselves. Glasses don't fill themselves either. Unless you're in Byzantium. I hear everything's automated there. Not that I'll ever find out. They did. They gave me a life. Gave me a purpose. This is where I belong. Not so fast. I told you about my life. Your turn to tell me about yours. So, what's your story? That right. Prove it. serial drama they were playing it just the other night what was it called the last spacer you're right i don't believe you i'd advise you to keep that story unsaid don't want people thinking you're a loon Ugh, is this the start of a joke if you want me to laugh at your jokes it's a three drink minimum Most folk forget where they're standing after a few drinks. Seems to me you've got a head start. Anyhow, whatever happens outside the walls is not my business. Only deserters and marauders wander out there. And I cannot tell you which I revile more. My world is these four walls, that door, and a row of mugs that need cleaning. make something clear. Spacer's Choice has been real good to me. The town's been real good to me. I start gallivanting around outside the walls, poking around in places I shouldn't be, learning things I've got no right to know. People will talk. Won't ever catch me asking about the world outside. Else the town's gonna say Amelia's gone soft. That Amelia's pondering desertion. <laughs> I don't want that. There you go with that thinking again. Didn't anyone ever tell you it's dangerous? I've said enough. 
People come here to drink their problems away. If they wanted to face their problems, they'd go see our vicar. Okay. Out in the whole town. Pipe down. Vaya, Puedo matar un bicho de estos, pero... Town's been dark a while now. Could be a mechanical trying to sabotage us. Sí, mecanoides. Mecanoides. Será eso. Your eyes, soldier. This here is a genuine Spacer's Choice injury customizing unit designed to deliver a lethal blast of electrical discharge. I call it the hand of the law. You ever want to see a mechanical flailing around like a grounded fish? You stick a couple thousand volts in its guts with compliments from old Ludwig. Fun. This ain't some quarterly performance review, soldier. Ours is a grave and sacred duty. Time's come for you to journey down into the black heart of the enemy's camp. I'm talking about the old geothermal plant. Oh, te vas a reír. Unfortunately, the old plant lies outside my board-given jurisdiction. You'll need to get a passcode from the boss, Reed Thompson. I've been after a passcode for years. Boss said no on account of my gross incompetence with all matters related to security. I need you to get us the brain of a mechanical. Well, not exactly a brain. Anatomically speaking, what we're looking for is a logic module. What is it, If you die horribly, I will pour out a can of zero G to your memory. Tengo una pregunta para ti. Go on. Nada. Entonces, ¿qué se supone que me has dado? 